today we're going to be removing two inch metal band heaters from a Pope uh, distillation system. Uh, you'll have to do this occasionally on your system, whether it's because you are doing a uh, robust cleaning of your glassware, or perhaps you've broken a piece of glassware and you need to send it back to Pope for repair. Uh, when doing this, there are a couple things to be aware of. Uh, the metal band heaters are a steel external piece and inside there what's actually heating is a nichrome wire. That nichrome wire is encased in mica and then the that separates the wire from the stainless steel outside. The risk here uh, when you're taking them apart is that that mica cracks enough and you get the wire inside that touches the stainless steel, causing a short. So when we take these apart, we need to be very careful in doing so. Dave's now going to remove one of the metal band heaters. He's gonna take a three millimeter uh, Allen key and start unscrewing the fitting. are out. It's going to take off the uh, necessary components. Then we're going to very carefully expand out the band heater. You'll notice Dave's pulling it just wide enough so he can pull the glassware out and trying to be very gentle in doing so. Again, not to crack any of the mica material that's inside of that band heater. Now that all the hardware is removed, Dave's just going to Loosen all of the bands, again being very careful to not crack that mica. And once those are loosened, we'll just pull out our glassware, which would allow you to either ship it for repair, uh, clean it, or do any other service that you might need to do on your system. So now that the metal band heaters have been removed and the glassware is clean, fixed, or whatever else needed to be done to the glassware, we're going to reinstall them. So we've got our glass body here, the band heaters, and then all the connectors for the band heaters ready to go. Now I'm going to turn it over to Dave who's actually going to do the band heater installation. First, he's installing the glass. Then he's going to grab all the parts. The parts here uh, need to be oriented correctly. If they're not, you're going to end up damaging uh, the actual pieces that are installed. You can refer to your manual, which will go through this in a quite amount of detail. So we'll put the fittings over. Squeeze the metal band here together, and then we're using a three millimeter Allen key to start threading this in. So then each of the bands will be installed in that same fashion. With all the hardware in place, you then can uh, get your band heaters in the proper location and then tighten them down. Once tightened down, you may want to check the continuity 
on these to ensure that you did not break any of the mica during disassembly. I'll have Dave do that check now. So Dave, what are you setting the uh, ohm meter to? We're setting it to ohms, and then we're gonna measure the resistance of it, which should be around either 9.3 to 9.7, and we're right at 9.6. And then we can check the continuity of the ground verify that they all stay connected and they did. Okay, so that's for the two inch band heaters to be around that nine and a half ohms. And then you'll also want to check continuity. Once you've checked all that, your system should be ready to go and you can start running your product again.